salutations my lovies welcome to my channel my name is martin i'm luke levion for all my new and top subscribers welcome back as you can see by the title of this video we're going to be doing um like another um episode but this time for the uh, male audience what do men um um think about you or um let's be more precise how do men um view you and since this is a collective reading, I'll be channeling for, um, for so many of you. This can be like um, love interest, your future spouse to inflame, uh, soulmates, your colleagues, family, exes. So pick whatever you feel with your um, gut and heart feeling and um, discard the rest. I have also done, um, I think that now it's ready. Like how do, um, how do women view you? Um, you can see the video. Um, um, I'm right here and also down in the um, um, description in the um, description yeah but okay before we move I just have some quick um, announcements to make the first one is that um, the zodiacal signs which are going to come um, throughout the ring can be your sun moon rising or Venus sign or like another person or, or people um the numbers can be your life path another person your last digit like of a home address and the other people your um your um birth month and also the day on which you have been born like the 16th of may or the 16th of june yeah also i'll be very much thankful if you will give me um um a like and watch this video for more than um 10 seconds because this is like um, this is the easiest and most convenient way to help me grow and um, boost my channel to get that um, algorithm moving. I'll be very much um, thankful. Also, if you'd like um, to share the video, to leave a comment, I will be very. Um, it will be very much appreciated. Also, click on that notification bell so each and every time when I post a new video, you're going to be um, notified. So. Yeah, for those of you who are already acquainted with me and my services, down below in the description box, you're going to find the usual timestamps about the um, pick a pile, like uh, 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 pick a card and also do the three piles. So for those of you who still um, do not know me, um, you're going to find more information about myself, my services, my other social platforms, how to tip me, which decks I'll be using, how to book a personal no reading with me, um, down below in the description box. So that, that being said, let's see with this lovely um, pick a card. We have three lovely um, piles to choose from. We have pile, pile number one, two and three. Um, and I know like there is some pattern with the women and here we mostly have like white stones. In the about the women, they were mostly black. I'm like just like uh, picking them with my intuition and eyes closed. So, pal number one is with this beautiful, um, um, clear quartz heart. I <laughs> just, yeah, how it focuses on the malachite. So, for some of you, this can be also a sign to see pal number three as well. Pal number two is with this, um, how white stone. I don't know why it reminds me. Uh, what was her name? Mm. Howly Wolf, you know from uh, Monster High, uh, Quadin's Wolf, Little Sister. Um, I'm Howling Wolf. So for some of you, maybe she was like your favorite character in Monster High. And pile number three is with this beautiful um, triangle shaped uh, Malachite stone. I hope it's focused. So okay, take your time, take a deep breath. It's you can pause the video. It's absolutely fine to choose all three paths if the messages resonate. If they do not know, um, if they do not, maybe the time hasn't come for you to receive those messages. But in several days, weeks, months, or years, you may be guided back because my readings are usually timeless. So okay, now that being said, and without any further uh, um, ado, let's start with poem number one. Well, hello there, my lovelies. This is the reading for you, for those of you who chosen pound number one. Okay, I don't know why, 
this is a bit like that note, but I'm seeing like an American football player. So I heard also rugby and hockey. So for some of this is a confirmation or that uh, a sports star, an athletic star is thinking about you. Hmm. I'm hearing something about the pride of the soccer team or the American football team. So yeah, I've got to say in detail that I'll be also joining for the men as well. Um, now, for mostly women, like the biological women, there is something about if you're still in high school or from that days or now, if you're passing through a gym or a sports field, you definitely catch the glimpse like of the athletical body, let's say, like of many athletes. I, because I heard something like the star of the team, like a mascot, if you get me, so... Hmm. So, yeah, I'm think like a teddy bear, maybe you, you love teddy bears, man. Um, no, uh, you may love teddy bears, your name could be Teddy. Um, 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 Theodora, Theodore. But they definitely, like, male men definitely see you as... Like a mascot, like a person who, like a good luck bringer, if I could say so, like um, a per like um, like luck in a human form. I'm hearing it in French. Uh, port, uh, port bonheur. Now I'm seeing um, um, ladybugs or ladybirds. I think I forgot one. I think that the one it was was used in the US and the other in the UK. But like yeah, but like yeah, ladybugs are a symbol of why? Okay, I heard fertility, but good luck, charms, happiness, and if you're a man, okay, you definitely catch the eyes of other men. Now for those like for the men who are into men, they definitely, I think like they want to to um, worship you. They feel admired by you. But for the others who are heterosexuals, I think like they are a bit jealous of you, okay? There's something about you like a star, like a mascot energy. And we have the clear cord, so they see you crystal clear. Like your aura can be white, but I'm seeing like a, a very transparent person, like how to say it? It's not that they can read all your secrets. Some of them may be able to, to read your mind, like if they're psychic, but mostly like that you're very like genuine, calm, your energy is very like nurturing. I'm loving this. Now, this can be your spirit animal, your, your animal totem, totem or how they um, perceive you for the time being. Okay, we have the golden egg with, um, with spirit with um, Ether, and I'm going to read from the guidebook, this is the first part, yeah, yeah. They see you as this golden egg, full of opportunities. Now, this reminds me of the golden egg from the first task in Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, somebody can be a Harry Potter fan. Like for the men, like how to say, um, when the egg was opened, on land, there was like a screeches and screams and howling, and it was really like, yeah, with howling, yeah, with howling moon. The sound was unbearable, the noise, but when you put it underwater, it started like singing because it was the song of the mer people, mermaids, the mares. So for so for the men who know you, like who have seen through you, who Maybe you have spelled like um, spilled some kind of secret. Like they know you, they feel like very honored, and and they are acknowledging that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm get also getting aquamarine as a stone, like sea. So you may be a water sign. They see us this like very calm person. And fertile, I don't know why fertile, maybe 
your body shape, your energy is giving them like a sign of fertility if they are searching for a fertile partner. Um, oh, please excuse me, I am, I am a bit tired. Now, if you're like a woman, this you're like a, this mother ready for motherhood or like your femininity is blossoming. And if you're a man, hmm, you're also blossoming like your masculinity, but not in a toxic way. For those of for those of the men who know you, like let's say family, family friends, childhood friends, I who childhood traumas, I don't know for who is this, but males certainly see you quite develop, quite change, like you are moving. But yeah, with this golden neck, like you, I'm hearing a heart of gold that you're full of golden opportunities. Maybe you like you love like eating eggs, sunny sunny side up. Okay, three cards, please. Spirit, how do men view power number three? Okay, hmm. I heard right away with hostile. We have the five of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm. It's interesting because. This usually talks about betrayal, but here I'm hearing like a start, um, hostility that you may be a bit like close from the world, that you do not... Some of them think that you do not comprehend certain things, but it depends on every one of you. For some of them it's about love, for others family, school matters. And for some of you, your, let's say, university, college professors think that maybe you are not ready or you are, you are not going to understand like the whole material, the whole point of something. With that, I'm hearing that they're like in, in, in confusion about your energy. Hmm. Like sometimes they cannot truly really like figure you out. So, for some of them, they are like seeing a threat. Ce da ghivor na da ili ne zimli ki da ili ne da ili ne vrštom li ki da ili ne jedna tukaj jedna a sotom pregled da ili ne Ok, we have another card. So, I was just asking. Spirit, we have the Wheel of Fortune. With Jupiter. You may be Irish, you may have um, Irish blood heritage, you may love Ireland because I'm hearing, I heard something about the blood of the Irish. Maybe there is such a song, a group, I don't know. Something about um, techno pop. But yeah, with Wheel of Fortune, they see you as quite an opportun 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 opportunist. I keep seeing like a four leaf clover with green. Yeah, full of opportunity that you charge like other people with opportunity if they are like next to you or if they're like spending some time with you. That and didn't I say at the beginning that like a mascot, yeah, like the more they spend that the more they spend time with you, the more they're going to feel valuable, happy about themselves, and also that they're quite full of potential, of good luck, of opportunities. But with the five of swords, it's like don't mess with me because you are going to to get it. So for some of them, they see you as a bit like um, in, um intimidating. Okay, let's see with the third card, please, spirit. We have two. Kuyadovarno, idveteli, da ili ne. 
Едната ли Дарина? Дарина. Кръжавата Дарина е. Как се да Дарина? Окей. Сори, дай трябва ми ту си дискарт. Лайк ту ретърн дискарт. Сори. The Six of Wands, wonderful. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and now the Six of Wands. We're having like this um um crescendo, and with with the Wheel of Fortune, they see you as a winner, somebody who is not easily like um to give up, somebody who is very dedicated to their family and loved ones. Because I saw Cancer, like Cancer, the zodiacal sign. Also, this makes me think of the fourth house. Which has to do like with family, family matters. Both that you're somebody who you may have you may have doors because I'm feeling like a tradi a traditionalist. Like there are certain types of traditions you would like to keep to pass on with the upcoming generations, and there are others which would which you would like um to break to break the pattern. So some of them, consciously or unconsciously, they may they may see you as this um um curse breaker. And despite the odds, whatever is like the situation that you're going to strive. Okay, for some of them, they really like your body, especially like if you're a woman, like um your breasts and your your behind. And how elastic you are, how flexible you are, especially while you are stretching. So you may be training gymnastics, you may be into sport, something in those lines. We have gold and gold. You may also be a Leo because this gold reminds me of the birthstone of the Leo, which is um, gold. Like yeah, whatever are the odds, pile number one is always, is always going to find their way, to find a solution. They are going to win. Now somebody is like saying that pile number one is so hot. My certain type of babe is what I heard. What is, I just heard also Mr. Mr. Muscle guy, Mr. Nice guy. Yeah, whatever, whenever, like, whatever, like, whenever you go, there was such a song, I think, whenever you go, or whenever you're gone, but whenever you go, people are always, like, admiring you, watching you, even from afar, even if they, like, are not um, verbalizing this. Sorry, one second, my music just stopped. Okay, now we have it. Now let's see with the other cards. You're also inspiring them. Giving them hope. Now, if you're like a biological male, I think them like, being, yeah, inspired by, by you, but like being more like you, more eloquent or dressing like nicely, being more like um, gentleman like if they aren't. Okay, one car free spirit. How do men view pound number one, please? Hmm. 
air, imagination, life is your creation, come on Barbie, let's go party. We have air with, with air signs, so yeah, thank you spirit, with imagination, life is your creation. Come on Barbie, let's go party, so you may be... They may see you as a Barbie prototype now, I'm not saying this to offend anybody, if you are like especially blonde or the way you dress. They find this very like um, sexy about you, but yeah, with this imagination, they certainly are daydreaming quite a lot about you. Now, of course, it depends on every one of them. But yeah, the, like if you're a biological male, and men are, men, okay, men are watching you or thinking about you, the men who are not into you, like romantically, sexually. They feel inspired and a bit like intimidated by you because they it's like you're showing to them like via a mirror what do they need to heal, how they need to act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes they can think that you are a bit like flighty, that you're easily like distracted, you lose your thoughts. I'm hearing like brain stomach, maybe you are speaking and then suddenly changing the, th um, the theme and then you do it again so I'm hearing somebody saying like um, not again mm -hmm. yeah also that they might have many opportunities with you they would like to have an opportunity with you and if they're like into sex like the sex between you is going to be unforgettable, like a golden opportunity. Somebody can have a golden retriever. Okay, we have um co abhengi kite, which is codependency, then lip sleep and viet von Zuchtfer. Zucht, fair, heart, and negative by influence. So, your love life can be um, negatively influenced. So, co um, codependency. Hmm. I'm not <laughs> saying mostly for okay, for some of you, they may view like as you are like very codependent, and for some of them, this is great, for others of them, this is not okay. But mostly what I'm feeling that you are like free, you're not so cold dependent on other people, their energy, you're just like striving, you're moving, you're fighting away. Yeah, they definitely love the fact that you are not stuck in the past. That you are ready to learn new things to, yeah. Something if you like wearing long clothes, but your wardrobe as a whole, they like it. Especially if you like addressing with more colors, vivid colors, pastel colors. And also they love how you smell your perfume. Let's see with the chakra cards. Yeah, there's something different about your fragrance, your perfume, your your um um cologne okay what is this okay sorry there were some kind of drops from my protection mist or or water so i had to clean them from the car okay how do they all okay i'm feeling quite scrumptious quite sexy so they they do see you as quite somebody like quite sexy regardless how do you see yourself one card for part number one, please, Spirit. How do men view part number one, please? One card, thank you. Oh yeah, especially if you like polite, always think like, um, 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 good morning, thank you, good night, have night dreams, bless be. So the more like eloquent and polite you are, the more they're like fascinated by you and um, I'm think intoxicated by you. Addicted to love, desire, okay, but I am going to cover the card because um, 
she's a bit new and we, he, we are here in YouTube so yeah we have desire with the sacral chakra goals passion craving fulfillment desire number 12 so you can be born on the 12th of a month life path number three oh sorry let me just do it like this yeah and since those are like matches they may feel like you're like their match your perfect match that you ignite them and wasn't I talking about your sex like your sexuality your sex appeal they definitely like lusting and desiring you for some of them you may be having such unprophetical dreams and with the air I literally saw like this wind um, what was the name in English a wind arrow vetro pokazato in Bulgarian it's like being a spin because of the fast winds like something is changing so for some of you there's going to be some kind of change of their thoughts their actions towards you there, a, there is definitely a desire for courtesy for fl flirtations courtoisie I'm hearing courage and strength maybe this is what they're telling themselves like I need to be Courageous and you need to be strong, courage and strength to talk to pawn number one. For others, they see you as this other, um, other earthly being, like maybe a part of this world, but not entirely. Yeah, especially if you're like into Reiki, healing your energy is quite interesting. I'm literally seeing you like if you enter a dark room, you're going to um, illuminate it. How is the time? Okay. Uh, 20, 20, now, 20, uh, 2020. Oh, 2020. 2 to 11 on the clock, so you can check out this Angel of Twin Flame number and also um, 2 to 2 to 2, like 4 times 2. So, another synchronicity. Maybe you're seeing this quite a lot. I am also watching people not seeing you at the public transportation, most like the subway, how would you call it in the United States or or the underground in in the UK. Yeah, they're quite similar like the Five of Swords and the co upgangi card. It's like try to misuse me try to use me try to put me in this codependency situation and you're going to get it like with the five of swords yeah especially like you are ready to defend your own like desires why administration ad admission maybe if you have like if you have been defending yourself with the administration and addition like additions additions they're like really happy about you There is also some kind of desire to talk to you, to spend time with you. Yeah. Now, let's see just with the book because I'm curious and I just opened it at the golden egg. What are the chances? They literally see you as they're like a golden snitch as in Harry Potter and message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within the sound resides a message. Wasn't I talking about about you like the golden egg in Harry Potter and the message and 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 um, deep inside? I'm not like joking when I'm saying those things. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or or, or grasping. Find a place of deep and um, and restful is perhaps, perhaps through yoga, nidra or meditation. If you could 
If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection of contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart. Stay open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming it requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on that you're well on your way. Your old friend, no, your ch your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's that's been away for a long for long time. Listen to the message they have been waiting to tell you. Yeah, wonderful. So messages to tune in to find like those opportunities yeah we have air which is like mercury air communication desire codependency also for some for some of you men could like tell you like i may desire you but i don't want you to be tied to me I don't want you to be like um, my mistress, you know, like a brand, like a brand new shiny toy. There's definitely a desire for something deeper. Like this is an example. Even if you like dating with somebody you fancy for three weeks, and then you have to like to move. I'm not getting something like, oh my god, I'm bored. Go away. Bye bye. I'm looking for something better. I'm looking for meaningful relationship is what I'm hearing from you. And also great friendships. So yeah, men really adore this about you. Like when you're like defending yourself, um, setting your ground, working on your freedom, your um, independence. But here we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Wands and Air Cards. So being free, fighting your own like passion or like your inner voice or inner compass. Okay, my lovers, I'm going to leave your link right here. I hope that the message resonated. If so, please give me a like, comment down below and subscribe. Or share this video for many future videos like this to help me um, grow and um, boost my channel. My name is Martin Luklevant. I had the pleasure of being your personal guy and reader for today. I wish you all the very best of luck. Write me down below how things are turning out for you. And don't forget that you, that you can always book a personal reading with me to get more like channeled and personalized information. Don't forget that um, I love you. Love yourself and until next time. Bye bye. Salutations my lovelies, this is your reading. Now, before we start some protection myths, because yeah, need to be protected. Hmm. What I'm hearing is like jolly good. So you may be British, but uh, what spirit is showing me is that part of the clip, I think it was with Christina. Aguilera, candy man, candy man, you know, like it was like set in the 40s with <coughs> with um the US Navy. Hmm. Okay, what I'm getting is that you are definitely like at like the the center of attention men watching you some of them are like saying oh my god i hope that she doesn't or him like because i'm also channeling for those few who are men like um let's say i hope that they do not notice me like watching them was much hmm. now with the smudge is a bit funny because i'm seeing this scene like when her uh, Hermione met Harry and Ron for the first time and she taught Ron did you know you had a little smudge here I'm on your nose so maybe when you turn your head or something in those lines and you somebody's like um 
rubbing something from their nose, like cleaning something. So yeah, this maybe. Hmm. I'm getting rosy cheeks. I'm literally think my cheeks getting like rosy, like blushing. Hmm. Yeah, and we have the the Hello White Stone, which is all about meditation, grounding, healing, cleansing negative energy. It's similar to pound number one. It's like you have a like very open energy. Even if you like trying to hide your energy, it comes like so naturally. So how to say it? something like a flower? Okay, somebody might have a tattoo of a flower, but just like how a flower naturally. Okay, well, I heard like embraces the light, but I don't know why. But I was gonna say like. Um, it's spreading its own like perfume, its own like smell. Hmm, so naturally. So there's something quite natural about you, and this is why like Yeah, I'm hearing I'm so tired of fake phony balloons. Especially like you know with the how there's some people who are so artificial you now, trying to be like the Hollywood celebrities. Being like that girl on TikTok, on Instagram, not being their authentic selves, like copies, like with copy paste. They like, uh, they like um, authenticity. Like they love your author authentic, 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 authentic. Oh, you get me. It's a mouthful. And if you're a man, something about how brave you are, how unconventionally unafraid you are. Hmm. There's definitely something about they feel praised, they feel safe, they feel happy in your presence. Now, let's see with the animal card. This can be your animal totem, a spirit guide, you know, um, or how they see you as the energy. We have the bat with air, okay. Hmm. So somebody can be into vampire, like romance, you know, books, novels, but it's interesting because with the bad now with air, I'm not getting like some like a, a, a malicious energy. And we have the moon. Quite on the contrary, like with the moon, um, the energy is how. How to explain it? I'm not sensing something, but I'm sensing some. Mm. Like something very sorry. I was just like uh, conversing with spirit, but <clears throat> like very. What I was just like telling you, like going with the flow, natural and enigmatic, magical, mystical. Now this came through like magic, um, magic and maxime, like from Hox Pox too. Magic and mystic. Hmm. You may be a witch, a natural born witch, and this is what they may feel about you. This is what is. There's something magical, alluring about you, which is like drawing them to you and i get something about it. it's like you are draining them but not in the energetical vampire sense i'm not sending the fruit from you just your aura your being your spirit it's like so it's so much some for some people like to take it it's so important that they feel like drained they <coughs> yeah with the moon how how the moon affects depths and flows like um, the sea currents, the ocean currents, you know, and it's like you are like the moon to them, like if they're like closer to you, it's uh, it's it's affecting them. Yeah, I'm not about number two, but you have such a great impression on men. Especially men who are like, let's say, not so spiritually awakened, who let's say are weak in our weak in spirit if you get me who are not so experienced and this is why i'm feeling that some of them may be trying to maybe if you 
are wondering why they are looking at you so cross, they are not happy, they're trying to run away from you. It's not something like personal, what I'm getting, but it's most because of your energy, your being, your, yeah. And we're going to read, to read from the guidebook at the end. Yeah, and also something about your voice, because <coughs> bats work, are communicating like with, I think with sonal waves, you can correct me down below, I don't remember, but something about your voice, how you speak, and that you're like a very free-spirited person. Hmm. Took so three. Da givorna li sičkite da ili ne? Ja dostava. Leva to dostava li? Da ili ne? Dostali da ili ne? Vršte mi da ili ne? Tazi ustamlja, da ili ne? Vršte mi da ili ne? Tazi ustamlja, da ili ne? Vršte mi da ili ne? Ok, we have the... The Five of Cups. Tak kar da grešim da ili ne? Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Hmm. Sometimes they can see you as a bit like... Like, um, nostalgic, like, maybe a melancholic, maybe you're being too much like in your head, you're not paying attention to the things which are around you, like we are, we are not here to judge, but I'm hearing some of them like saying, let me help you, some of them wanting to be like this knight in shining armor, like in a damsel in distress, even if like you are a man, then say like, um, 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 let me help you, mate, is what I heard. Hmm. Okay, you're giving me dark academy vibes, like with Hogwarts, English boarding school, neo gothic, gothic, something quite classic, or something like with your beauty, your aura, like your charisma, it's something which stays classic no matter what, and it doesn't fade away. Yeah, it's interesting because with the Five of Cups, it's like <clears throat> no matter how life treats you, people, backstabbing, betrayals, you you remain like everlasting, like you're not changing, you're not changing, like, like it's your choice, but I'm not getting like changing for the, like, like for the worst or even for the better, like it depends, but like you're just like existing and blossoming. And this is what is also like drawing them towards you. Honestly, they see you as this very strong oak tree, let's say, who in a vile storm, like in a very strong storm and winds, its branches do not break. The tree withstands the storm, survives the storm. Mm. Now we have another five. So your name could start with V, or you can be life path number five, born on May or the fifth of. Then we have the five of wands. Da ide vrnuli. Da, daljine. Ostavljaj daljine. The five of wands. Lius, Jeteris, Aries. Now it's interesting because those cards are usually, let's say, a bit negative, but here it's a completely different meaning. And it, this does types like it's talking about competition. Now, one of the things which I'm getting is that you may not be aware of this. The, maybe there is some competition, like people trying to be like you, um, competing for your attention, your friendship, your heart, let's say. But you, um, but I'm getting that you are not aware of this, and this is what also like draws men towards you like you're not this attention seeker like um the type of uh, the type of uh of uh, kardashian girl let's say oh my god they're like fighting for me i feel so famous like people love me i love it when people are are, are bickering around me are fighting for my hand knowing this is what is like drawing okay i'm seeing um elizabeth bennett and her sister Jane Bennett, I think, the biggest of the Bennett sisters, like from Pride and Prejudices, especially the actresses from 1990, um, 1995's version. Um, 
with Colin Firth, I think this was his name, sorry, and Jennifer Air, I think it was her name, so sorry, yeah, you can click now below. Like, yeah, because Jane was so sweet and Elizabeth was remarking this, like, she wasn't like bickering, she wasn't going for the attention, she wasn't trying to, she wasn't doing something special to win Mr. Bingley's heart, she was just herself. And even when he abandoned her, being influenced by her, by his sister and Mr. Darcy, she was sad, but she wasn't like in vain. <clears throat> yeah, this is like what I'm getting me, men see from you. And even if you like a man like very gentle, very caring, they want to be your friend, they want to help you. For the majority of them I'm getting, but those men who are into men, yeah, they would love to win your heart. Hmm. Also, yes, that you're a person who is ready to defend their, <coughs> their, their moral values, their, their principles. Princess of value. Hmm. This may be a tie, like the name of a book, TV series, a song, I'm not so sure, Princess of Value. <coughs> One last card. And also that you can be like very vow, let's say, when you, <coughs> when your close friends are, yeah, thank you spirit, are being like, um, um, threatened. Hmm. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo mostly, exactly like with Jane, but also Taurus and Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, caring, stable, mature, nurturing. It's funny <coughs> because we have two fives which equals ten, so something about your ten house, about work and karma. That you're like very trusty, somebody can or wants to be there, they're trusty, or something about a board of um, um, directors, something in those lines. But it also with the karma because the 10th house deals with karma, like how to say it, like it's not like people, like men, do not feel that you have a karma, like you're not like a karmic person, like. We all have we all have our karma in some degrees, you know, family karma, lessons, you get me negative attachments, but here I'm not getting this. Yeah, that you're like very poised in a good sense, mature, grounded. That you're always there like to listen and this is what is um drawing them um towards you. So now let's see with the cards, what else? Yeah, this potency. Father Buzemali? Da, или не, да разборкаме дали не. Sorry. Somebody can have a bunny, a rabbit, a tattoo of a rabbit. Yeah, they give me now the image of the rabbit. Like... Yeah, they give me now the image of the rabbit. Okay, we have spell manifestation like with the rabbit. So, so, so I'm innocent, you know, caring. We have this spell with manifestation. Eye of Newt and Toe of Frog. Woo of Bat and Song of Dog. Others Fog and Bind Worms. Bind Worms. Lizard Slack and Howl's Wing, I think. For a charm of powerful, like a hell proof boil. Like some of them are trying to, to manifest you. It's like I'm, I'm hearing like a manifestation come true. It's like you are the proof of a living manifestation that which like what they have manifested, what they wanted to have. 
also with this ink <clears throat> and the feather it's like <coughs> yeah old classics old vibes old school charismatic caring and during is what I am hearing as well hmm. yeah I did say some I did say some I did say something about your voice that it's like very sweet like something like bells church bells okay I saw the image of um, Disney's uh, Tinkerbell so you know like a thinker she's like very sweet very caring but when you rub her the wrong way you know she gets like all red and ready to defy why defy yeah to defend okay, one card please spirit how do many do you part number two whoopsie daisy Finance and a career. So finance and um, career. Finanzielle Probleme we can see here of dying lips living house. So there are some like financial problems in your life. But with that that you like very um okay, I was going to say like um um career I'm oriented about your job, but I heard and I was going to say family, so also family. And also, at first I thought that the um, financing was family, familia. Maybe if you are struggling with some, you know, like financial problems, you want to change your job, something in those lines, they want to help you, they want to be like this knight in shining armor, how I told you. To help you like surpass the problems, to help you resolve the problems yeah something about how can this sweet loving person this gentleman this gentlewoman be embracing such problems this is so cruelty i won't stand for it i want to help <coughs> the poor and needy <coughs> just to drink some water now if you're a woman and you're wearing like summer dresses, like especially I'm seeing like a white, a bit like vintage, let's say from the 50s, 40s, but with flower motifs, they absolutely adore this about you. And I'm seeing a girl with um with a diadem. Uh, how to say it? Do I have here this object? No, it's not a hairnet. Like, I'm going to show you. Hmm. Ah, with a hairband. With a headband, yes. Just one second. But it's <coughs> something in those lines, but it's not like, yeah, mostly like this, let's say. But a girl like with fair skin and um, chestnut like hair, yeah, yeah, something like this. But, but she doesn't have like uh, many bangs or fringe, like they are put behind with the headband. I don't know. <clears throat> so this is how they see you. Like if you're a woman or the energy like very... Why fertile? Okay, I heard fertile again. I heard it in pound number one. Something about... Regardless of your... Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Your maternal situation. They see you as a potential life material, like wifey material, mother, motherhood, something in those lines. Now let's see another card, like a predominant chakra.
Whoop. This was fast. This is the crown chakra. Inspiration. Wasn't I talking uh, um, about this? Thank you very much, Spirit. So, 46, somebody can be 46 years old. Life part number 10 or 1. Born in October. Ideas, spark, conception, impulse. Yeah, conception. Like with this fertility, like fertility, it's not only about babies, but the fertility of a project, of an idea. Yeah, purple ideas as the spark. Can you see the card? Yeah. Like, yeah, very inspirational, very magical, very ethereal, otherworldly. Something about them also, like, I want to protect power number two. We need to cherish power number two. People as power number two are so rare, like ladies, gents. Even if you like a biological masculine man, like a macho man, there is something about your feminine energy which is like so... I mean like a docile, I, like from the French douce, which is like sweet, gentle, docile. I don't know why. Like gentle, caring, calming, extravagant. Why extravagant? Maybe you have extravagant tastes. Or like something um, in the sea of conventional, un unauthentic people you like, so exotic like you <coughs> definitely catch somebody's eye. You are definitely, a, how, how is this in English? People can easily distinguish you from, from, a, a, from a crowd of people by your energy, your taste, your your voice yeah even if like other people are like bickering scolding yeah a spirit like show me you know like in those cartoons when they are like fighting for a shoe or something it's on sale you have this cloud of dust like that they are fighting and you just pass through that fight people stop the fight and they like just like mesmerized you. Okay, I'm seeing this scene from Wings Scoop season one. Hello to my Wings Scoop fans. In the third episode, when Bloom, um, when when um, um, Bloom had defeated, like she escaped the tricks, she fixed her dress, and when she went down to the party, like the welcoming party, all eyes were on her, like the wings, the specialists, and she made a very good impression. Um, even f uh, Miss Ferragonda was proud and when she like she was the center of attention people were like saying oh my god I want to have her dress she's amazing and the, yada, yada. and when Bloom approached Flora and Flora and asked her how is she looking she told her something in the lines of like a spring flower which is blossoming or it's about to blossom it's about to bloom so yeah this is what I was getting all along about you yeah, and let's read about the bath, the bath. Okay, you may be from Bath, which is one of Jane Austen's most like favorite towns in England. Bath. Or maybe you love to go to the bath or you give like people the energy of taking a very good bath. Bath. Okay. But darkness letting go, death letting to rebirth. Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of the of the subtle senses, of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns. No more lingering in the past. Accepts, adapts, adjusts, refuses to let go, remises. Watch the sun rise. Like, this is not how you like that people, that it's a new beginning, a new day is approaching, but also your energy, like, you're always like 
rebirthing, emerging from your ashes, like I'm seeing the phoenix and and a heron as well as animals. And yeah, this is with the inspiration, with the problems, with the manifestation, the Queen of Pentacles. And yeah. Okay, my lovelies, I'm going to leave. Yeah, people, yeah, men also think that you're quite lovely, sexual, and that you have a sex appeal. Yeah, they feel attracted. Yeah, uh, thank you, spirit. They feel attracted to you, and it depends on every one of them and your situation. If this is only like a uh, mimicable, love related, sexually, you get me. So, yeah, I'm going to leave your reading right here. I hope that the meshes resonated. I was also 27 27 on the timer. Check out this angel or twin flame number. So, yeah, if the meshes resonated, please give me a like, comment, down below, and subscribe, and share this video for many future videos like this to help me grow and boost my channel. My name is Platinum Clevion. I had a pleasure being your personal guy and reader for today. Um, I'm, wishing you, I'm wishing you all the very best of luck. Write me down below how things are turning out for you. Don't forget that, that you can always book a personal um, reading with me to get more like personalized and channeled messages. And do not forget that um, I love you, love yourself, and until next time, bye bye. Salutations, my lovelies. For those of you who have chosen pal number three, this is your reading. So now, how do men view you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I heard Enigmatic and in my mind played this song from Wings Coop, season 3, especially the Fox Kids dub. Um, super fantastic, ultra, tot ultra totally fab. So they mess you like as a fashionista, something with a great style, great sense of humor. Okay, I'm seeing Stella. So somebody with a great sense of humor, like... Always knowing how to crack a joke, very stylish, very noble, a certain type of um, regal energy. And I'm hearing this song from uh, who was the singer Bob Marley. I'm not so sure, like, there is no sunshine when she's gone. So you may be sun in Leo or half Leo because I'm getting Leo energy from your pal. Like a star energy shining, shining bright. A ray of hope. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm getting regal energy vibes, so your aura may be like yellow, yellowish. And we have Marakite, which is all about money, working, I think. And I also get like this um, royal vibes, impression, aristocratic vibes from you. Also that you're a, that you're a character of quite the potency of power, of real power. Somebody who's not easy to conquer, like... Romantic wise, amical wives, amical wise, but it sounded like wives. There's definitely some men see you as a wifey material or husband material. Okay, now let's read the card. Okay, we have the hummingbird. I'm going to read the energy list. We have air elements, so you may be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Mm. Yeah, like this ray of sunshine, this light. Somebody who is quite fast, always, always on the move. I heard always on the market, so you may be into shopping, buying. I'm hearing that you may be the type of customer who is bringing so much like sunshine and happiness to a sell, like to a salesman or a saleswoman, but mostly like to salesmen. Yeah, like also that you are like chatting, very easy to talk to, down to earth, like I heard sort of guy or girl. You may be from Brooklyn or 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 Manhattan, and I'm hearing like Queens from New York City. 
like some I'm hearing like gossip something about in the lines when you talk it's interesting there's always something which you need like to say and also something about informing people so you may be a journalist a reporter but like whatever you're like saying it always has a meaning even if something sounds like rubbish you're just like talking nonsense people who know you know that there is always something like valuable that there is always something in those lines so yeah many people feel drawn by your energy somebody who likes to take good care of their like um, sorry like makeup wardrobe style hairstyle you may be changing your styles like with the colors ex um, experimenting but I heard okay what I heard something and then I stop I, I yeah your charisma something about your charisma so you're like very opulent open charismatic now let's see with the tarot cards If you play poker or you know um, casino type of games, men find this quite sexy about you. I literally saw the image of a woman with blonde hair, like um, oh, how was the phrase in English? With with her hair up tight, like up, with a red dress, red lipstick. I'm seeing like. Uh, white earrings with pearls or black earrings but a very like stunning gorgeous opulent sexy woman pretty woman walking down the street pretty woman something about like Julia Julia Roberts you know she was like in, at the beginning of the film like she was very like um charismatic um open unhinged but when she like transformed later uh what was his name of the actor ah uh, i knew him but i forgot guy Ritchie? no not guy Ritchie. you know um you can write me down his name i would um um remember it i just I cannot it just slipped my mind so when she wore that I think it was a red dress she was like on goddess level on entirely different level and we have the full card and funny it was at the bottom of the deck when I got the cards like to shuffle with mercury yeah like this very opulent energy caring hmm. I'm also getting pinky pies vibes from my little pony you know like how she was singing she was mostly unbothered now I'm hearing the laughter song, I think, from the f from the second um, episode of the third season when she used her gift of laughter to make the scary trees go away. Like yeah, cracking a joke, making people happy. And we have the sun here, so you may love like lamps, wearing jewelry. Like yeah, you're just like that ray of sun, shine during a gloomy cloudy rainy day okay i just saw like the weather in england like when it's mostly like raining it's gray it's though it's cold people just like eh, yeah you get me and then the sun comes out and everyone is like praising you loving you like it's on another different religion goddess level or god level now you're a pretty woman walking down the street Second car, please, spirit. It was a no Yeah, yellow color, so plexus chakra. Somebody quite um, um, ambit, daring, caring, and, and charismatic. Now, spirit wants me to tell you that for those of you who are like um, using affirmations like I'm beautiful, I'm abundant, you get me. All, all that jazz it's definitely like working it's enhancing your okay we have the seven of swords interesting but we have another yellow so you may love yellow wearing level um yellow clothes or maybe this is a sign i'm getting the house of hufflepuff like with hufflepuff vibes 
A Queer Sleeper Gemini. Hmm. This is like a trickster. I'm hearing like a jokester. Like I'm hearing, don't let your looks. No, don't let don't let looks deceive you. So under that, all that like you know, um, it's not like a fake persona, but like the persona of this happy go lucky girl or like a boy. You know something like okay, I'm getting. Star Butterfly from Star and the Forces of Evil. You know, she began as this like sweet, go lucky, um, um, unbothered girl. But when things got like darker, the fights and everything, it was shown that she was like very brave, very like logical, very smart. So I'm getting this vibe. So underneath the surface, there's like this mastermind, quite like logical thinking, rational. Yeah, paying, uh, paying attention to every little de detail. Yeah, something about which men also love about you is that you suddenly play attention to every small detail, like if they have changed their their, hurt, their head cut, if they have cut their nails, like in those lines, if they have removed a certain people, like, yeah, you can pick point to certain, like, like details, like, you notice the, you notice the unnoticeable, even uh, like you make the people like you you make like the most unseen um, um, outsider like people to be noticed to feel valuable to be a protagonist like in the story like you matter okay I'm loving this and also with the seven of swords this is quite an interesting energy the first me the second da in um, because it's, you know, like the, but yeah, you like ready to argue, to defend other people. Something about brainstorming and brain games, like winning a spelling bee competition, something in those lines, you're quite competitive, but not in a bad sense, what I'm getting. Now we have the Ten of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. Mm -hmm. Now, what men are thinking that sometimes you are getting too much like burden, they may feel this energy about you, they may see it because, um, long story short, like in Link's Coop, um, World of Links, the series on Netflix, like in the second season, when Stella was, was fighting her nemesis, Obscura, uh, it was shown that she was having like deep insecurities about how people saw her. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Um, she thought that her beauty, her um, her looks was everything, like, because people only saw her about her looks, and this is why she was, like, trying to compensate with being positive, helping people, like, being a good sport, if you get me. So, yeah, they also might feel or sense this, or if you have told them, like, they see, like, also underneath the surface, like, that you are troubled, you have your own, like, um, emotional, emotional, like psychic, emotional baggage to deal with, and they want to, they they want to help you. They want to help you. They feel inspired. They feel in all, all of you how strong you are, strong willed you are, carrying all this burden, like healing, doing your own stuff. But even if there's some men who are like jealous of you, who do not like you, when they found the when they find the truth about you, they're just like how to say it. Uh, like I cannot uh, how to verbalize. Like they will stop making fun of you or take you like seriously. And of course, there are some who will stop, you know, because there are like people, but people who still are going to like to mock you, you, you get me, but I'm getting that this is like very, very like 2%, 1%. But yeah, how president you are, how strong you are, good with it, a good sport. And yeah, how strong you are, like, yeah, I, I think I saw this. Also physically strong.
something about a task manager so you may be undertaking so many tasks at work or in your family and people and people feel like in know of this some men handles magic but some men does feel do feel that this is quite sexy we have candles with magic so like candle magic you may love candles but with magic like yeah you're so whimsical so magical and i love how many um references we have to the light here with the hummingbird the sun the yellow color the candles okay so for the men who have like romantic or sexual thoughts about you plus 18 they do envision you with a candle light like in the bathtub in the in the bedroom in the living room like on the sofa with candles like kissing being um generous with you so i stopped because i heard like jester maybe they want to be your own like jester to make you fun they want to hear you laugh there's something quite magical about your love and if you're a man it's the same but especially if the men who are like interested in you are like especially if you are interested in men are more active they surely love the idea of you being their um um submissive like um their bottom if you know what i mean like them being the more active the taking the male lead but sometimes the idea of they letting you be the active one in the relationship or doing it it's making like it's making them like very hot um very happy yeah to take the lead now if this is like a heterosexual situation if you if let's say you are driving a, a, a car your boyfriend like your man is driving the car um it's driving the, their car and it's quite uh, how to say it. their car is quite like the price they praise it they almost they don't let anyone almost like to touch or drive their car but with you it's like would you like to to take a spin now would you like to drive my car you know they are willing they're willing to let you do things which they are not willing to to let other people do if i could say so yeah you make people feel much more um comfortable more open more vulnerable now how to say it you make men want to like not you literally just your energy like um to prove themselves to you but not like in a toxic negative way but like in a more natural way to show their authenticity their talents um i think like from what doll they are made of like this is in literal bulgarian with like what the store so the messing like which is their like true essence let's say like things which like how to say if when they are like with a fake girl let's say like a Kardashian type of type of a type with you it's quite different like it's come so natural i'm hearing selena gomez song so naturally natural light natural colors the more natural and authentic you are the more they love it okay the um the shimish tint okay so there is chemistry Es besteht eine starke magnetische Anziehung. Like this means a very strong magnetic um, relationship. And again, yeah, she has a light here. So many light orbs. You may be seeing a lot of light orbs. You may be connected with the uh, um, angel realms. You may be talking with angels. I'm loving this. And yeah, just like okay, even if you are like a chap, eh, either there. Oh, I did there. Sorry. They see you as this, like, let's say, damsel in distress, like, not in a negative way. They want to embrace you, to help you, to guide you. 
Okay, some men might want to mansplain things, man, mansplain things to you, but mm, I'm not getting something like malicious or negative. It's just like they're so bedazzled, so magnetized by you. Okay, I'm getting Alexis from from Dynasty, the American TV series, and uh, what was that blonde girl? Crystal, I think. Now something how now I haven't I haven't watched the series. I have seen some um, clips in Instagram. I have read a bit about Dynasty, like the synopsis in Wikipedia. So. Something about Crystal being sweet and gentle, but at the same time being like quite feminine, regal, opulent as Alexis, Alexis Davis. No, no, Alexis Kobe, I think it was her full name. Basically, Joan Collins like um, character, the true meaning of enigmatic, like empowered feminine. Okay, now let's see the chakra cards. Yeah, men want to fight for you, men want to fight your battles, they want to protect you, to nurture you, some of them like to make love to you, to bore like, um, to have children with them, to marry you. Okay, one chakra card, please, spirit for pound number three, please. Yeah, and yeah, John Collins, especially Alexis, does give me like Leo vibes. I'm not so sure. Dreams, okay, we have the third eye. About her astrological sign, like in the TV series. Dreams, somebody can be 39 years old, life path number 12 or two, no, three. Messages, signs, symbols, and guidance. Yeah, something about how intuitive you are, like especially with, you know, like um, with your senses, knowing things, and also we have the moon cycles, and and again with the light. So you may be working with the moon cycles; they may affect you. Hmm, messages, signs, symbols, guidance. No, I'm here something about thank you very much, doctors. Thank you very much for helping me. So if you are a doctor or helping people like a light worker, they truly appreciate your help. They love it. Especially if you like as like serving as a spirit guide, um, with tarot, as a witch, with my with remedies, they love this about you. Something about your magic, yeah. Your potency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we mustn't forget, I'm going to read from the book also, about the hummingbird. Now, if you're like a woman and you're wearing like long stockings and a skirt, like a mini skirt, you definitely catch the attention of of the male society. Yeah, they don't feel unbothered but it's like regardless if you are aware of this or not, but men want to be in your company, they feel completely un in Intoxic, like, intac uh, intoxicate, no, intoxicated, infatuated by you, drawn by you, mesmerized by you. Because I was completely mesmerized by you. I'm trying to channel a song, but I'm not so sure. Okay, now hearing, um, Sh Shanna Twins song i think this was her name but that but that but that don't impress me much so you got the looks honey you got the touch but the, but don't get me wrong i think that you're all that you get me like 
like her vibes in that clip like she was like so sexy opulent attractive seductive you get me and yeah making men to to do more to exceed like their limits to surpass their limits to do more to win your heart to win your attention to be your like bodyguards shun, um your son um i was going to say like knight in shining armor your like lover future husband you get me also if you are a man i'm healing from spirit playing well with your divine masculine and divine feminine energy like being also those things but like a man okay now let's see with the hummingbird Positive, enthusiastic, spirituality, um, um, resourceful. Inside the tiny hummingbird resides the endless well of energy and positivity. The hummingbird's secret is that it has learned where to gather nectar and it returns to those sources daily for nourishment and um, um, rejuvenation. This sacred elixir springs from many sources but usually involves nature, creativity and exploring, exploring spirituality. Follow the way of the hummingbird and you cannot go wrong. Every droplet of life becomes sweet, every moment worth savoring. When in balance, smart, curious loves to learn. When out of balance, pushy, ins um, insistent, sharp. To bring into balance, take a class. Exactly what I was, was telling you. And it's so lovely. Okay, my lovelies, I'm going to leave your link right here. I'm not going to think anything else. Something about watch out for hummingbirds, like hummingbird symb symbolism or cat, you may have a cat. So yeah, um, if the matches resonated, please give me a like, comment down below, subscribe and share this video for many future videos like this to help me. Um, yeah, uh, like yeah, um, to boost and grow my channel. Yeah, I forgot to say dreams, they may see you in, um, you may see them in your dreams or vice versa, you may have um astrological like meetings on the 5d plane and they can be um dreaming about you as well so yeah um my name is martin lukeviant i had the pleasure being your personal guy and leader for today i wish you all the very best of luck wrapping down below hurting satanic out for you don't forget that you can always book a personal link with me to get like more personalized and channeled messages and don't forget that um i love you love yourself and until next time bye bye